Hello and welcome to yet a quick tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to be able to import native SketchUp files into Blender. So let's say you've gotten a, a clientele's uh, work in SketchUp and you want to be able to use it in Blender. There's a quick uh, plugin uh, that you can get for Blender that will be able to let you do so. So let's jump right into it. So I'll leave a link in the description and you will get it under GitHub, Red Hello Studios SketchUp Importer. So what you do is you head over to code and download the zip file. So we'll download the zip file and install it within Blender. So you'll be able to do the same. Okay, so we have it. So what we'll do is we'll head over to our preferences and click on install. And on the um, downloads, type in SketchUp, SketchUp Importer, install add-on. And we'll tell it import. So what we'll do here is we'll head over to our import just to check to make sure. Yeah, so we have import SketchUp scene. So now that we have that set up, Let's jump over to SketchUp. I have a quick file that I want to use for this example. Yeah, so over here we have a quick um, file of a shop. Shop that I got from my clientele um, to be able to import into um, Blender um, because they wanted a, a bit of a rendering uh, feel that um, they didn't like uh, with SketchUp. So. I give them the option to send me their SketchUp file. So this is what we have. <clears throat> so what we'll do is new TV stand for Senegal. Let me just um, see that. And on the downloads, revamp design for Senegal. So we'll head over back to Blender. And we'll come over to import. Head over to downloads, revamp design, native view, stand for Senegal. And we'll, let's have a quick look at the options here. Scenes as cameras, use existing materials, instancing, faces, default, shading engine, we have cycles. So we'll leave everything as it is and we'll hit import. So we'll give it a second for it to load the scene into Blender. So, yeah, we, this is a quick uh, overview. So it came out pretty well. And let's uh, do a quick comparison between this and the uh, SketchUp file that we have. Head over back here. And okay. Let's see if the materials all came in very well. Head over back. Yeah, so we'll switch over to a material view. Give it some time. Yeah, and I think uh, it came with almost all of them. So, um, let me have a quick look. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. Yeah, just some few things that got merged together. So, um, okay, so I think uh, what we can do is you can separate the model by basically separating them by the materials. That's one way you'll be able to uh, get the files to able to work but this is just a quick tip on how to be able to get um, SketchUp files into Blender so you'll be able to you know work at the way you want uh, the renders to be so normally I do this when I want a certain look and feel using the Cycles render engine yeah SketchUp has this also it's uh, a strong point over Blender in terms of architecture and uh, building yeah but um, this is just a quick one and I'll catch you in the next one thanks